Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect to your Father in Heaven. Whatever is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. After a brief message from one of our sponsors, we will listen to today's prayer together. A prayer for when we need encouragement in faith. Written and read by Kyle Norman. Be strong, O people of the land, declares the Lord. Work, for I am with you, declares the Lord of hosts. According to the covenant that I made with you when you came out of Egypt, my spirit remains with you. Fear not. Haggai chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. There is an ancient story involving a child and a famous artist. The artist is sculpting a large lion from pure marble. The child is amazed and asks, How do you do that? To which the artist responds, Well, I look at the marble until the lion reveals itself, and then I chip away everything that is not the lion. It's a lovely poetic answer, and it's a great image of what it means to work in pristine environments. Sure, when you have a perfectly hewn marble slab and all the tools necessary at your disposal, yet you can chisel out quite a fine lion. But what if that's not the case? What if instead of a hewn marble slab, you are left with rubble? What if you don't have all the pristine tools before you? Could you chisel out the same lion? Could you chisel out... A better lion? This is what Israel faced in Haggai's day. Haggai prophesies to a group of people who have returned to Israel from the exile in order to rebuild the temple. Solomon's temple, in all of its grand opulence, had been destroyed over 60 years prior. And now they face the task, amid opposition and hardship, of chiseling out a new temple from the rubble underneath. But they didn't have the fine materials as they did before. They didn't have the pristine tools or the endless supply of gold and silver and jewels, all of which adorned Solomon's temple. And so the people looked at this task before them, what God was calling them to do, and they got discouraged. They felt hopeless. How could they ever do what God was calling them to do. Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever felt so discouraged in your faith, as if you lacked all of the resources necessary to live your faith in the way that God was asking you to live? Haggai reminds the people that the Spirit of God was with them and that God was empowering their efforts The glory of the new temple would outweigh the glory of the old. And so, be strong, the Lord says, and work. To Israel and to us, Haggai's words ring true. Be strong, O you people of the land, and work, for I am with you. See, Haggai's words are rooted in an audacious belief that renewal will take place. His words resound with encouragement and good hope. But this hope is not about the ease of the task. No, for the people of Israel, the task still loomed large. But the people could move forward in hope because of the reality of God's presence. Even though they had felt like the task before them seemed insurmountable, the fact was God was with them. I am with you, declares the Lord. This is what I covenanted with you when you came out out of Egypt. 
my spirit remains with you. So do not fear. It is because we root ourselves in the presence of God that we can hear this call to work in whatever way that work is in our lives to act and resolve that the strength of God's arm will be evident. Of course, this isn't about working for our salvation. This isn't about earning our forgiveness or our place before God. When God calls Israel to work, God is just asking them to live out their hopefulness. They were to incarnate in their lives the very renewal that they believed would be revealed later on. If we fully believe that God is not done with us, that God will bring new life to us, then we're not just called to talk about it. We're not just to make up a slogan and slap it on our advertisements. We are to live out this reality. We are to live out the very renewal that we believe the Lord will bring about in our lives through the power of the Holy Spirit. We are not alone. You are not alone. The power of God is alive and moving all around you. And so to you today, God says, my spirit remains with you, so do not fear. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Father, Sometimes the call of faith seems to loom large before me, and I fear that I lack the ability or the strength to move forward. And there are times where my own failings are all that I can see, and my sins stare at me bluntly. There are times where I fear that I am not good enough to do what you ask me to do. But then I hear your gentle call, that my life of faith is more about your strength than it is mine. And so you call me to work, not to find you, but to live with you. Gracious Lord, help me to open my heart to your presence. Help me to rely on you more and more. May you make the places of my weakness the place where your glory is revealed and your love is made known. Father, I ask you that in your spirit, You may dampen my fears and insecurities so that you may embolden me to step forward into the places that you call me to go. This I pray in the name of the one who walks with me, Jesus my Lord. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.